Good morning. Got here at 7 a.m. It is now 12.02. That's how long it took to get loaded. Trucks lined up all the way, all the way around to the loading zone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, please like and subscribe. Yeah, yeah, that good. Yeah, yeah. Ha, ha, ha. There's one more truck behind us. We were actually parking out here. When I pulled in, I parked over here and I just barely pulled forward to the next zone when the next truck pulled up over here. So it took five hours to get loaded. Is this garbage truck just hanging out or is he waiting for a clear? He's backing up. I'm gonna back up too. I see there's nobody behind me. I don't know if he's looking in his mirror. Passenger seat is vibrating. Need a passenger. He's spinning his tires like crazy. Let's lock everything up. I should have checked. First video is probably done rendering. It should be rendering my second video. But I do my brake check at the top. I'll, I'll get the second video going. Seeing I started on Tuesday and who knows if I'm going to be driving on Monday. I'm trying to get... I shot two videos yesterday. I'm going to try to shoot two videos today. Our regular Wednesday video and probably the bonus video for the members. Come on, man. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's clean the windshield while we're going low speed here. Headed to Maple Ridge, so I should be able to get to Langley and sleep in Langley somewhere tonight, hopefully. We'll see what the road conditions are. I mean, it's solid black ice here. So, if I don't make it, who cares? I'm gonna make it as far as I can. The weather will kind of control. The last five hours yesterday, driving from uh, West Kelowna through Kelowna and then up the hill on Highway 33, and then 33 all the way to Rock Creek, it was just solid black ice. I was slipping, sliding around. It really took my time. Then I slept in the rest area coming up the head on the left. Slept there and then got up today morning at 6.30 in the morning. Did my pre-trip and uh, sat in the yard. <laughs> Pulled into the yard and I'm like, oh. There's no point of getting up early today. Nope, don't, don't, don't use engine brakes. Just don't do it. Not a good idea. Let's just ride the brake a bit. I'm trying to think of what the speed limit is here, it's 80. Don't use cruise control. Um, we're gonna climb the pulse in here. We'll uh, probably don't need those on until I get into Castle Guard and turn it back on there. Uh, Paulson had a couple of inches of compact snow on the road, so 
hopeful I'm going to make it over the top without needing to chain up, but we'll see. And yes, there's a whole bunch of stuff on the dash. Those are my tubes that are wet, my mask that's wet. Everything's neat to dry out. And on the floor, I've got gloves that are drying out. filters for the DJI camera. You need to be using those. You need to be using those. Yesterday's video of me honking. I already got a message on Facebook that he saw me go by with the Super B. The one that's sitting in Prince George or in uh, Princeton. I was hoping to shoot a video here going over the Paulson and another video in Manning Park, but it'll be dark by the time we get to Manning Park, so I'll have to do two videos here, one after another, before it gets dark. So I can't really select where I want to record. I had breakfast and lunch sitting in the yard waiting to be loaded. Actually, I was eating lunch while I was getting loaded. on. Turn those on. More visible. My headlights are on. I've got daylight uh, running lights, so headlights are always on. So at least there's that when I forget the rest of the lights. out so it's quite a bit warmer today than yesterday. Yesterday pretty much stayed minus 15 all day. Little fluctuations up and down but minus 9 here is warmer than it's been the last couple of days. So minus 15 yesterday, minus 20 the day before so maybe it'll be minus 5 tomorrow. Which means it would start melting. But even minus 9 with all the traffic, the road will be melting, which will mean be even more black ice tonight. That's interesting. That single trailer there sitting at the rest area, today morning, the driver hooked up onto it. Today, first thing morning, I drove into Glesnikov and sat there for a couple hours, and then all of a sudden, he just turned in a U-turn and drove away. Dropped the trailer here again. Must have gone, nope, not worth it today. Too long of a line, not worth it. Oh, here comes the next truck. At least he's only got the one truck ahead of him. Forklift drivers all were gonna be like, hey, we're gonna go for lunch after we unload load this next truck. Just as they load the next truck, this guy's going to pull up. I'd go for lunch anyway. Man, this is shiny black ice. At night, this just looks all the black, so at night, you can't tell that this is ice. Dude, dude, you are way over on my side. Dude! Oh, 
head slower down, slower down, slower down. Is it raining? Uh oh, it's raining? Driving too slow for this road, honestly. Driving this slow, if you drive too slow, you can start sliding sideways off the road, so there's a danger of driving too slow. clearing the sidewalk over the bridge. I predict the scale is closed, but we'll see. Yep, the sign says closed, but you guys can't see it yet. Don't want those locked up for the next corner. That would be bad. Behaving good, good. Oh, yeah, that car that I saw is ahead of us there. Another car coming back there. Woo! That was a little scary. A little bit of an uncontrolled slide.
right. Now it's going to be sketchy all the way from here. Well, there's the rest in the middle, but it's going to be a sketchy climb right here. Heat. Seems like it's blowing very hot here. Don't tell me it's stuck on. If it is, that means the camera's gonna overheat. Yeah, it's stuck on max heat. Great. Crack the window open a bit. I don't know what that's gonna do to the sound, but the truck is stuck on max heat. The only way to reset that is turning the engine off. worry about climbing the hill. If it overheats, we're going to be stuck with the shoulder cam. I don't know why it 
does that, does on some kind. Today is quite the inconvenient place for that to happen. And no, I am not shifting up. Never, never, never upshift climbing a slippery slope. It's the best way to spin out. Right now I'm very tempted to upshift, but it's still too steep to try it. I mean, there's the right time to upshift, but not when you're working hard like this climbing. seconds here and risking a spin out which would cost me like 20 minutes. Okay, it's getting a little straighter here. I think I'm going to risk it. spinning. I got through it. So that was right on the line of I shouldn't have shifted. a better option. And I'll put it in automatic mode. Ooh, careful. The car is coming up from behind us, thinking that the passing lane was much faster. Almost creeped the back of the other truck. Lots of room. Thank you. 
want to be unlocked for these 60 kilometer corners here. Hopefully. There we go. Unlocked just in time. As soon as we're through the 60 kilometer corners, I'll lock it up again. So we got more climbing to do. This is just a tiny little rest area. Or rest, rest from climbing. automatic mode even though we're climbing here it's not a very steep climb so the risk of spinning out here are fairly low There's all these lines across, and that's all just from chain up. All the trucks that have chained up have slammed the ice and made all these ridges in the ice, which actually gives me more traction. Does that mean that I'm a better driver than they are? No. That means that I might have really good winter tires and they don't. stopping that's the tricky part if you can keep your momentum you're good that's why sh up shifting on ice is a bad idea because it breaks your momentum getting a little bit of speed back getting some of our rpm back i was debating down shifting another gear but we're okay it's close to a spin out right there a long way to go there's many more chances to spin out prefer not to spin out at all, but the further to the top we spin out, the better. The longer distance, we don't have to be on chains.
Yeah, I switched to manual and downshifted just in time for that. Cut up shift here, but it looks really slippery. Where's all the gravel? Maybe because it's between Christmas and New Year's, they figure there's not enough traffic to gravel this road? Because if they had gravel on this road, this would be no problem. Because the gravel gets pounded into the ice, and then you have all that extra traction. Okay, I see the fog line. We're quite far over it. Looks like guys have been going sideways here. Let's get into the snow. I know car you're passing me, but I need the I need the snow in the center here. stuff. Because I can see some of the lines were kind of going sideways and I'm like, if I can get this grippy stuff in the center here. I mean, it's still slippery and icy in the center, but it's more grip. I shouldn't be giving away all my secrets because then everybody would be driving on the white snow and then pound it into ice as well and then I won't have grip. Okay, I'm going to risk an upshift. Good, good place to option. And I'm going to do one more here. This is not as steep over here. It's still very slippery, but it's not as steep. I'm going to do one more, but I'm going to lightly downshift by the next corner again. If that gets us a little extra momentum, it might pay off. Spin the tire and are forced to shift. The 
it's most likely the place you're going to spin out. But if you spin the tires, you're allowed to drop the RPM a bit, get the tires under control again, and you can slowly work the RPM to back up. Most of the time, if you shift while your tires are spinning, that's the end of your day right there. It's not the end of the day, but that's where you, that's where you chain up. If I had my quad axle, I wouldn't even worry about this. I would just drive right over it. I wouldn't be worried about spinning out. It'd be good, but this is super mean. Super B spin out a lot earlier than quad axles. I always say they need two sets of uh, chain up signs. Super B or two trailer and single trailer. Two trailers have to chain up a lot earlier than uh, single trailer. steep here. We're going to get a nice little break. on a truck fell off. Okay, gonna go to auto mode. Let the truck take over again.
of snow over here on the roadway, so that's good. Should be able to pound through that and get to the pavement here in the next two or three days. If it doesn't snow more. Minus 15 up here. Make it over this pass without spinning up or spinning out. I've got the E hold. It's unlikely to spin out there, but I've seen it happen before. And then I've got the Anarchist, high probability there. Uh, Richter, that was close yesterday pulling the load over that. And then I'm clear for a while all the way to Princeton. And then we got Mine Hill. And then if I make it up over to my over to my hill summit, I should be good the rest of the way. So we got a couple of chances to spin out today. Yeah. Let's hope that doesn't happen.
experience. It is awfully slippery. And that's why uh, my lane is stripped down closer to the pavement than the other lane. Because going uphill, the guys have chained up. Coming down, very few. You can see a couple of chain marks in there, but not a lot. So very few guys have come down the hill with chains. In fact, honestly, I see one truck worth of marks coming down. And that might have been... I don't know if the snowplow would have been chained up or not.
corner is not a steep climb after you get, but it's two 80 kilometer corners in a row. I'm gonna do a lot less than 80. Did him at 70. Felt good at 70. Almost to the top. are not on. Maybe they figure if you're going to spin out, you're going to spin out long before here. It's one of our youngest drivers that I know. I like him. Very optimistic, happy kid. Okay, let's go back to bed, y'all. Grab a couple of gears. Grab a bunch of gears, actually. Good to get some speed before this climb because it puts more heat in the tires and the more heat in the tires the grippier the winter tires are. Spin your tires a little bit there, just a little bit. I think I'm gonna be forced to shift down. Bungie. I don't want to drive over that one either. Oh, there's another bungee there. 
Oh, they're probably from tires. From chained up tires. Like, who's losing all their mud feet? They're probably from uh, chaining up tires. Well, it looks like guys have spun out here and gone sideways down the road. Oh, there's a spider monkey in the center peak in there, in the center line there. Not a peak yet, but... People are losing their spiders, their monkeys. extra seconds. Make sure we're past the Alright. We really have one last little steep climb left. If I make it past that, I'm not going to spin out. There's another spider. A lot of chances of flat tires on this road. Shift. I'm an automatic. Let's go to manual. And yes, I have spun out on this last little bit here. What are you doing? Did a little hiccup. I automatically just downshifted. I'm like, okay, you're going to do a hiccup. I want to need to recover from that little hiccup. spun out right beside the brake check. Right over here. Just because I thought I was done. And I started up shifting. It seems like I took all the knowledge people gave me and ignored it, failed myself, and then remembered the advice people gave me and then took that advice. So when when you, when you give people advice, don't expect them to follow your advice until they fail themselves. And then they will go, remember that guy said when that happens, don't do that. Yeah, I did that. Okay, that's why I shouldn't go do that. And so the advice still, it still worked. First, you only failed once. If you didn't give that person the advice, they might not know what they're doing wrong. It might take them many, many tries to learn that lesson. But because of the advice, I didn't follow the advice the first time. I'm like, yeah, come on. Why, why can't I upshift here right now? I'm like, right there. I'll upshift. No, 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 no. Fail. 
Okay, got to chain up. I'll remember that for next time. What they say, don't up there. Don't. Speaking of, I'm an upshift now. You, you start learning where it's okay and where it's not. But. So, don't, don't feel disheartened if you're giving people advice and they don't listen right away. Your advice is probably still helping a lot of people. Even if it doesn't help them on their first try. It makes people faster learners. Alright. This is where a lot of rigs, not a lot, but some rigs wipe out on this next corner and I've seen cars go over. I think I talked about this last time we came up Pulse. Was that last week? In our brakes. Riding through this corner. Take our time. This video is brought to you in part by the letter C and these YouTube members. Cookie starts with C. What other things start with C? Oh, who cares what other things? C is for Cookie and that's good enough for me. Thanks for watching.
Thank <laughs> you.